The simplest explanation of what the Rosicrucian Order is that we're a philosophical and educational organization. And Rosicrucians are both men and women around the world, and we study topics that are related to natural laws, things that are just laws in the world that if we understand them better, we can live in harmony with them. We certainly can trace our historical lineage back several hundred years, but then traditionally we also go back through, say like the alchemists, the medieval mystics, back to the mystery schools of ancient Greece and Egypt. So this is called the primordial tradition, sort of like the underground stream of human uh, spirituality. And we are a modern manifestation of that and historically connected to it. So it's really thousands of years old. The Rosicrucian order can be traced back historically to the 1600s when three Rosicrucian manifestos were published anonymously in Europe. However, they were perpetuating much older traditions dating back to the mystery schools of ancient Egypt, the Essenes, the mysteries in Greece, such as the Delphic mysteries and Eleusis, Kabbalah, alchemy. So even though the Rosicrucian tradition was announced in the early 1600s, it was uh, perpetuating something much older. Well, mysticism is the practice by which one has a direct connection to the divine, however you conceive the divine to be, without intervention of priest or king or anybody else. So it actually is connected to the ancient mystery schools, which is ultimately the source of the Rosicrucian tradition. So a mystery, in the sense of mystery school, is not a whodunit. It's an occasion where one encounters uh, the divine. For me, mysticism means that one has a direct understanding, a communication, engagement with the divine or God or, or whatever term one uses for that great spirit. The Rosicrucian studies, as well as things that come out of these traditions, really do provide a manual. You don't have to believe it, that's the beauty of it. Uh, beliefs are relatively arbitrary, depending on what you've been exposed to, maybe what you believe. Uh, but you can test these things and you begin to see there is order to the human experience of life just as there is to the material aspect of life. Uh, and presumably science, we will advance and, and be able to confirm some of the things that drive those things. The Rosicrucian teachings present everything we're going to study in the first 15 months. And then over the years, we come back and explore all of those topics again from different angles. So there are some very helpful exercises right at the beginning of our lessons. And then maybe a few years later, we go back and approach those same topics and learn different lessons from the same topic. The scope of what the order studies and teaches, it's so broad-based that just about everybody can find something of interest. And so uh, my fields are history and uh, spirituality, and certainly there's a great deal of that. Also, the organized way in which the studies proceed. You learn not only about the teachings and the monographs that you get at home, but when you work in the affiliated body functions, the conventions and that sort of thing, you learn very practical things about daily life. So it's a great way to learn skills that are very applicable in, in daily life. Rosicrucian Order to me is a lifestyle and it's a way of focusing yourself on on different things, you know, and reminding yourself that you are a walking question mark, that not everything is just here. Here it is and just follow this. We all have this same inner center, this enormous intelligence that kind of organizes our lives and inside of our, our biology and everything of this nature. So that enormous intelligence has enormous power and accessing it is equally available to all human beings and in that way we all have the opportunity as we learn to access it to bring our lives into harmony and order. The Rosicrucian Order is a worldwide order of mystics and we benefit from the teachings that have been perpetuated for centuries. Sometimes people gave their lives so that this wisdom could be passed on. 
And we have a responsibility today to make sure that others who want to benefit as we have can, uh, can learn and can apply the Rosicrucian teachings to improve their lives. Our commitment is not just to perpetuate the Rosicrucian tradition, it's also to contribute to elevating the consciousness of humanity.